Cheers, and welcome to Bitter Reality Brewing. Yes, White Labs. Got a little unboxing here. And I wanted to just let you know, there's something going on at White Labs. It's been going on for a few months, and I probably should have told you a while ago, or maybe it's been going on for longer than that, but I just discovered it a few months back, and I was like, oh, wow, I remember this. So I'm like, I probably should share it with everybody. Yeah. We'll talk about it here in a minute. Don't forget, like, subscribe, keep sharing. Definitely appreciate it. I think they moved the subscribe button. Just double check it. Is the like black? Okay, go ahead. I think that's over here now. They keep moving crap. I think it's just to keep you guessing. It's kind of like a grocery store. Once you figure out where everything is, they move it. So I'm gonna go ahead, pop open the box from White Labs. These are things that I'm looking to use this year in brewing. And then we'll talk about what White Labs brought back or restarted, should we say. Yes, I'm using my razor blade, and this one's pretty rough. Okay, so first of all, yeah, they pack it really good. It's like better than insulation in a few of the homes I've lived in. But pop this open, pop this open, the ice pack in here. There's a whole nother box in a box, in a box almost. So it's very well packed. This was shipped two day. That's what I picked, two day shipping. And everything still, really, really cold, so I was set. I'm gonna go over some yeasts I bought, that's right, and what they are. They're special yeasts. They're not the regular yeast you just buy. You can't go to your local homebrew shop, at least not that I'm aware of. I guess some local homebrew shops could order it and resell it, but these are part of a thing called, and I had to write it because I kept forgetting it, the Fermentation Society, or White Labs Yeast Club, whatever you want to call it. And it's kind of cool. They had this a while back when they used to have the tubes. If anybody remembers the tubes, the plastic tubes. Well, these are all used yeasts. I have like eight packs in here of used White Labs yeast. I wish I would have saved all the others. <sighs> I probably would have had a <laughs> big stack, but well, actually, it would have been a small stack because they were those thin ones that didn't have these caps on them. And I'll let you take a peek at that. I'll put a link in the description below so you can go to this PDF. But if you basically get 10 labels, you can return 10 labels. Now, that you have to include $5. The rest of them, oh, no, actually, I take it back. It says, please include $5 shipping and handling for anything, redeeming any items other than yeast coupons. So I don't know if these act as coupons, but you can always email them, find out. But 10 labels, you get a free yeast. So it's kind of like 10% off, you know what I'm saying? 20 labels, you get a practical guide to beer fermentation. 30 labels, you get an exclusive t-shirt. 40 labels, you get an exclusive hooded sweat, you know, kind of, it's cold, but it's not freezing, but it's not hot outside, you know, that kind of sweat wear. Now, I don't know who out there is gonna do a thousand unless somebody gets a ton. If you wanna send them all to me, I'll use them. Okay, <laughs> yeah, you use your white labs, you get like a bunch of them and I'll cover your shipping. You can send these to me. So I'm kidding, but if you really want to, I'm really not kidding. You know how that works? Okay, but a thousand labels, you get to go brew at white labs and I think they take care of everything and then they'll serve your beer in the tasting rooms. I don't know if that's in Asheville or in San Diego or based on where you live. Now, I don't know who's ever gonna have 5,000 of these things. Seriously, I don't know, unless a big homebrew club has everybody donating them over the years. But if you get 5,000 of these things, then Chris White, yeah, the man, yes, White Labs, Chris White will come to your house and he'll bring the yeast and he'll brew with you. So that's are some pretty cool things. The 10 labels though is very reasonable. You get 10, it's like 10% off, this sends you another yeast. I mean, that's a pretty cool deal. So I like it. it, it's kind of, it's more fun than anything. The other thing is that it gives you exclusive access. And yes, the club is free, you don't have to pay anything. You just sign up, it's free. But you get access to exclusive yeasts that are released throughout the year, they're all limited. They're coming out, they may or may not come out again. I would assume they will, but I don't know. But I'm gonna go through the four that I bought that I felt were really cool, okay? One of them, I'm not sure if it was in that exclusive. I think I may have just found it and got excited, but it's just the way I am. And I ordered some more yeast from another company 
that's sending them, but it's because I needed some hardware and I had to get that free shipping. Yeah. We got White Labs, 515 Antwerp Ale Yeast. Yeah, Antwerp Ale Yeast. See if I can remember what that, um, it's clean almost. This is weird. It's almost kind of like a contradiction. Clean, almost lager-like Belgian yeast. I, Belgian yeast and clean lager-like to me are two different things, but that's how it's described. Um, it will give you a biscuity ale type aroma and it accentuates hops and bitterness. So this would be great for something like a Belgian pale ale, a Belgian IPA, a Debel, a Trapel. I mean, anything where you wanna really get crazy and have the hops stand out, that's your yeast. Okay, moving on to the next one. This is the one I can't remember if it was an exclusive group or if I just said, that sounds cool. I wanna try that. Okay. This is WLP4023 Wallonian, if I'm saying that right, or Wallonian, Farmhouse 3 Ale Yeast. And yes, it's a farmhouse, farmhouse Ale Yeast. So of course you're gonna be brewing things like Belgian Pale Ales, Saison's Farmhouse Ale. Those two are so interchangeable. Um, complex fruity esters, pepper, and rustic earthiness is how it's described. Stupid high attenuation up to 94%. So yeah, it's gonna eat the sugars just fine. And you know me, I like it dry. So when I saw that, I was like, yeah, sounds good. Now I have another one that's almost the total opposite of that, but that's okay. Um, and I'm gonna save the best for last. I just am, sorry. Um, this is WLP561. Let's see if I can hold it up here so you can get a good look at it. It's a non-STA1 S-O-N ale yeast. It's kind of a joke, it's like non, yeah. I won't even go into it, but like non saison, but it's a saison yeast. Yeah, okay. Um, complex expressions of esters and phenols, great for saisons, farmhouse ales. You probably saw that one coming. Um, but it doesn't have the super high attenuation. So it's going to leave a little bit of residual sweetness. That's the exception there. You're not gonna get the crazy high attenuation. It's still gonna be relatively high. I think the high was like 86, if I remember right. Um, it leaves notes of lemon to tropical flavors, including chamomile. <laughs> yes, it's a tea. Um, as well as phenolic things such as pepper, clove, coriander. Recommend it, brews, yes, recommend it, brews. Now, of course, I'm thinking Saison, but on top of Saisons and farmhouse type ales, you could also do Belgian Dark Strong Ale, Belgian Dubel, Dubel kind of scares me a little, although I can see the accentuated sweetness helping to make things stand out, but there's all those other flavors, especially tropical and lemon. It might be amazing, it might be just a little wild. Um, of course, your Pale Ale, your Tripel or Triple, um, any of the, the real Belgians or Saisons, yeah, there you go. It's gonna leave some residual sweetness, which is gonna enhance the flavor, but it's not gonna be as dry. So something to be aware of. Okay, now, and, and, and I did order some other yeasts specifically for something going on. One of them was not a White Labs yeast, but it was because I needed it for something very specific. And here comes the last one. Do, 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 White Labs, WLP6420, Acid Trip. Yes, Acid Trip. This is really not a yeast. It is uh, basically lacto. It's your bacteria, you know, your, mm, let's get yummy. Um, and it's funny, because it's from a brewery I've never heard of here in Florida called Tripping Animals Brewing in Doral, Florida. I've heard of Doral, Florida, and I think I've been there a couple times actually, but Tripping Animals <laughs> Brewing. So yeah, it's called Acid Trip. Um, it is considered the ultimate blend of organisms for your perfect kettle sour. It usually gives you things like moderate tropical, specifically pineapple, and pom, as they called it, fruit aromas. If you don't know what a pom is, it's an apple. Poms are usually cooking apples in what I understand them to be. They're not just apples or cooking apples. Usually, at least in America, we see a pom, it's a cooking apple. I, I am not gonna do anything else with that but cook with it. <laughs> <laughs> Not my favorite, yeah. But maybe in other countries, poem just means apple across the board like France, so. But yeah, acid trip. Got some big plans for this one. I think this could be really cool. And let's check the expiration. Looks like I'm pretty good on, pretty good on all of them. 
acid trips a little on the lower side. So maybe I'll be doing that first. I really don't know. But like I said, I'll leave a link in the bottom down below for, if I can pick it up, the Fermentation Society PDF. You can check that out. Um, now that's just your redemption form. That is just to redeem things, but it'll get you into White Labs and you can go look around and say, hey, yeah, let me sign up. You don't have to order anything. But if you happen to see one of those really cool yeasts come out throughout the year that you want, you're gonna have access to it. You're gonna be notified when it's being released. So maybe you don't want it and you got a friend who's brewing too and you go, hey, you should check out this yeast. Get them to buy it and make a big yeast starter and you get half. <laughs> It's all in how you work it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, don't forget, like, subscribe, keep sharing. Definitely go check out the Fermentation Society at White Labs. Like I said, it's free. You can check out some cool yeast that maybe you haven't seen. You'll see the Franken yeast there. Um, there's a cool yeast that's from supposedly an extinct, I think it's coffee bean or cacao. Might be a, might have been a chocolate thing. I don't even remember. No, it's chocolate, cacao, yeah. Um, I was trying to order that. It's not available yet. I think it was available last year and I missed it and now it's available this year and I was trying to get it, but we'll go down that road when I get there. So, hey, cheers, appreciate you, thank you. Hopefully this year's working out in the best for you. Thank you. <laughs>